it's me, Profex. Today I'm going to be doing a Balance Song Collection video for October 2021. So yeah, I have all my Balance Songs laid out here by price. Um, I wanted to say beforehand, if you see, uh, if you are not seeing some of the ballets that you saw in my previous kind of going through all my Balance Songs video, that's because I didn't have them at the moment to be able to lay them out here today. But yeah, like I said, I have them laid out by price, and uh, I'll probably have some footage of me kind of flipping them. I'll go over whether I like them, whether I think they're worth it, whether I think they're a good flipper, all that jazz. So yeah, let's just uh, let's start. And I apologize if there's any background noise. I'll try and mute that as best I can. Yeah, first we have my Palio. This thing is definitely fun. I wouldn't call it the best flipper in the world. Um, I believe that this was $12. Um, I'll put a little graphic on the screen to uh, show you what price it is. Um, this is made by Spider Co. And it's definitely an interesting ballet. It's actually a pen. Um, at the end. And focus, um, but it's a pen at the end. You can actually write with it and stuff, which is pretty cool. A lot of people bring this into school if they want to flip something in school. Um, I don't really flip. In school, but it's just nice to have one of those balance where it's like it's one of those kind of main uh, you know staples in the collection. Where it's like yeah, you should always just have a ballet or a squid or something you can flip around that's light and won't get you in trouble. So yeah. Okay, next up we have my Amazon Beater balance on. I'm trying not to flip it too much because it's very loud. Um, the tolerance is not good at all. The tank as you can see, I keep falling out, so it's doing that, but uh, it's a fun flipper when the tank is in, I will say. Uh, it's kind of fun to have such a bad balance on. It's almost like it's so bad it's good type thing. But yeah, it was $10 for this and another balance on that I showed in my going through my balance on video. Um, and yeah, I think you can get it for like $6 on Amazon. I would definitely say it's worth it, especially if you're trying to learn. It is a bit heavy though, that's probably my only gripe about it. Next up here we have the uh, $15 Battle Song from Etsy. It was a Battle Song famous video that he made. I think it got like 8 million views or something crazy. Um, but yeah, definitely it's worth the price. It's a fun flipper. It is lighter than the Squiddy, I think. Um, but it's definitely worth the $15 if you're just looking for something fun. And I mean, yeah, it, 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 quality is good even though it's 3D printed. It's loud, that's kind of the only thing. It's, it's, I'd say it's definitely louder than the Squiddy, even though the Squiddy is very loud. But yeah. Next up we have my other beater um, from Alice on the Tech Handles. It's gold, it's not actually gold, but it's, um, it looks gold. Um, blade chain, pretty cool looking. I have uh, this tape here because um, it actually fell apart. So I need the tape to hold this handle up. But yeah, it's actually fun. The curved handles actually help when you're doing rollovers. Um, so it's a very good uh, song if you're looking to just, if you do a bunch of rollovers and you're looking for just a random little fun purchase, it's a good one. Next up we have my Andux balance song. This one's probably one of the more famous Amazon balance songs. You've probably seen Will Hirsch's video on it. It is pretty darn good. I used to make videos with it a while ago, so my older videos. I think my most popular video actually is an overview I made of this thing. Um, I remember I did a tap test around this, but no, it, it, it gets tapped. It is tunable, technically, but it, it, it's pretty hard to flip after that. But, you know, for 27 bucks, it's good, especially, um, especially if you don't support really fully buying clones. I believe it's a Mamba clone, the handles, but um, as opposed to our next entry here, this is a Kraken clone. Now, before I start you know, talking about it, I'm not really anti-clone necessarily. I don't mind purchasing clones. A lot of my collection is clones. This is a clone. This is a clone. You know what I mean? I don't really mind purchasing clones. But uh, I still think the Kraken clone is seriously good. It does have not so good tolerances, but they're tunable out, kind of. It still gets tapped, but that's okay because, you know, it's still a really good flip drive for myself picking this up recently. As you can see, I spray painted the handles, kind of gave it a custom job, which is pretty cool. 
Um, but yeah, I really like this thing. I definitely say for the forty dollars, it's worth it. I would say that um, the balanceless phone is worth it too. But I would say that if you're looking for a starter balance phone that's around under fifty dollars, this is definitely a great purchase. I've heard people say that the Falcon by the one is also good. Um, I would agree that that seems like a fun one. I haven't bought it yet, but it seems pretty cool. So you could, I would either go for this or the Falcon if you don't like supporting clones. Because the Falcon is an original design. Next up we have my Squiddy B. Uh, I really do like this as a flipper. You can see I put a little bit of, you know, bite handle or, you know, bite side of the tape on it. I think that it is pretty cool. I honestly really like the Squiddy and the Squiddy family. I had an OG Squiddy back then and then while ago I bought this Squiddy B. I think it's a really good flipper. I appreciate how they're TSA safe. And I think that um, you should definitely consider at least buying one Squiddy in your balance song career because they're not too expensive um, if you're loving. They're a great purchase. Another one here is my Basilisk one. Um, this was $60, I believe. I think I said that the um, Crown Clone was $40. The, this was $60. clone as well. It flips honestly like a heavier, chunkier Nautilus, um, but I think that it's still fun. It's definitely worth the 60 bucks. Um, it doesn't have perfect tolerances. It didn't come with perfect tolerances, but if you're willing to overlook that, it sounds fun. It's just, it's a fun flipper. And if you can't afford an Nautilus, this is kind of a chunkier, kind of thicker version of an Nautilus. So yeah, fun flipper. We have my BB Barfly Pro V2. This thing has been in my collection for a really long time. This was technically the fourth battle song I ever got. The first battle song was a two, uh, two pack of battle combs, then a CSGO kind of CCC, then I got my OG Squiddy, and then I got this. This was my first real, genuinely good battle song. But yeah, uh, I think this thing is really great. It sounds great when it's lubricated. I love all that jazz. You can't actually get these anymore, you can only get V3s and Fireflies, um, and some of the OG butterflies. but I would definitely recommend, um, if this was still, you know, on the market, I think it was around $80, I would definitely recommend this, it is great, but yeah, like I said, can't really buy it anymore. Next, we have the Custom Anno Chapelon. This thing was $102, and the plus shipping was $110. So, this was basically $100. Uh, it's very cool. Obviously, it's channel with the name it runs on the Zen pins, which is different from the actual Chab and actual Alpha Beast. I accidentally stripped one of the screws, so I'm having trouble tuning it, but that's really my fault. After a while, it comes usually with perfect tolerances, but after a while, it is a bit tough to um, get it to perfect tolerances, especially if you're not smart like me and you strip the screw. Um, but yeah, I definitely think that it's a good flipper. It's a fun flipper. The ring is really satisfying to listen to. Um, and I definitely think that it's a good purchase if you don't mind purchasing clones and you want to get kind of the feel, the similar feel and look of an Alpha Beast or a Channel Alpha Beast, but you don't have the $300 or $400 to be able to buy it. And you also, are you maybe you're like me and you only flip trainers. Next we have my Triton. This thing, both his end pins fell out, so that's not fun. The tolerances are all right. They're not the worst in the world, but they're definitely not the best. And that happens. Well, there's a lot of tap in this thing. Until I can get the pins back in, I really haven't been flipping this too much, but the Triton is definitely a fun flipper. I don't own the Triton V2, but by the looks of it, I would I think that the Mako V4 looks to be better, um, and it's also like 35 bucks cheaper, which seems pretty cool. Next up we have my Inked Squid Trainer. I've said before how much I love this thing. I think it's a phenomenal flipper. I was just flipping it earlier today. It's honestly really good. Um, I definitely think that it's worth the price. I think it's 175 for the base model. Um, but like I said, the Mako V4 looks very promising, so if you don't have that kind of budget, Great. As you can see, I got the full inked model. It has great grip on the textured handles. The blade shape is really 
really cool and uh, the coolest thing in my opinion about this bellow song is it doubles as a tuning fork. So yeah, <laughs> pretty darn cool. As you can see, I got a little custom rating on this if it'll focus. Yeah, as you can see there, it says subscribe to Pro Fix by the face. But yeah, I think this thing is pretty darn cool. I would recommend, like I said, buying this. Um, yeah, um, at the moment it has tap, but you can really tune this out to get no tap, no play. Pretty darn easy. So yeah, this thing is definitely great. I, I would say it's one of the best polish I wish you could buy. Finally, last but not least, we have my Nautilus. This is definitely my favorite on the bunch. It is light, yes, but I think that that makes it cool because it flips. In between, I've heard um, Jeffy Flip say this, flips something in between a replicant kind of and a squiddy. And I definitely agree, I've never flipped a rep, but um, this definitely feels like a squiddy. Sounds like a kind of muffled rep. Very, very fun, very cool. I love learning new tricks on this. It's super flowy. And like I said, while it is light, it's definitely something uh, that you can get used to and really enjoy flipping. So yeah, as you can it's actually shining in the blade. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I definitely really recommend this. It is very expensive. Some would say overpriced. I definitely get where they're coming from. It is very expensive. The base model is $210. That's pretty damn expensive for that also. But anyway, my point is, this thing is great. I honestly really like this. Some people say that the clone isn't, you know, is kind of similar, but I don't know. I think that this thing is really, really, really great. This thing is awesome. As you can see, I got the Winter Edition. And I think this thing is really awesome. It sounds great. It flows great. Love this thing. So yeah, that'll do it for my Battle Song collection video. Let me crunch these up really quick. There we are. That'll do it for my Battle Song collection video. Um, I have quite a few, and this will be a bit long, but, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to add some more fancy editing to it with footage over it to make it a bit more entertaining. If there was some background noise throughout the video, I'm sorry about that. Like I said at the beginning, I'll try to mute it as best I can, um, but if some of it seems to right, I apologize. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, do all the YouTube buttons. And as I always say, the most important thing, have an absolutely phenomenal day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in the next one.